Hey everybody, uh, in this video we are going to talk about the three most common places that new chicken owners get their chicks and the pros and cons of each and hopefully this video will help you guys decide on what is best for you because it is going to change depending on who you are and what needs that you personally have. So uh, anyway, uh, I'd like to welcome you guys to the Able Farmer channel. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider clicking the subscribe button and liking the video, ring the little bell, that would be great. It helps me out, helps this channel grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, there are several different ways that you can get your chicks for your homestead. And I remember when we first started getting into chickens, that um, when I found out that you could order chicks directly from a hatchery, and they would ship by the United States Postal Service, that completely blew my mind. Not being into chickens, I had no idea. But if you've been into homesteading and raising chickens at all, that's common knowledge. Everybody knows that chickens come through the mail, and I think they have for decades. So, what are the pros and cons of ordering, ordering your chicks directly from the hatchery via U.S. Postal Service? Alright, so what are the pros from ordering directly from the hatchery? Now, the main thing is it's super easy. So, if you're able to go onto Amazon and check out with your order, then you're able to shop at a hatchery. You, it's as simple as just picking the chickens that you want, adding them to your cart, and checking out. And piece of cake. That's it. And uh, that blew my mind when I first started that it was that easy. Uh, another pro is there's a wide selection of chickens that you have to choose from. Uh, you can go down through and you can select many different breeds, whether it's your meat chickens, your layer chickens, um, you've got your varieties such as like Polish, but you can also go buy egg collar, you can get, you know, your brown eggs, your blue eggs, your white eggs, and uh, that, that's nice. You can just, everything's laid out, it's real easy, and uh, it's, it's not a bad way of getting your chickens. So another thing about ordering from a hatchery is you can pick the sex of your chick. So once the chicks hatch at the hatchery, they have workers that vent sex all the chicks and they separate them and you can get, you know, whether you want all hens and maybe one rooster or maybe you don't want a rooster, you can actually select how many hens the roosters you want. And that is really nice because most people don't want any more than maybe one rooster. And maybe some people, if you live in the suburbs or something like that, you don't want a rooster at all. Another pro of getting chicks from the hatchery is you usually have the option of getting your chicken vaccinated. And if you wanted your chick vaccinated for, say, Merrick's disease or uh, anything like that, then you know you have the option right there it's done for you and for just a little bit of money on top you can get uh, your chickens vaccinated All right, so what are the cons of ordering directly from the hatchery the first thing is you are going to be paying premium dollar for these chickens depending on the breed that you select obviously like anything there is a supply and demand that goes along with having with buying chickens uh, you're going to be paying on the common varieties anywhere from maybe three something, three dollars and something per chick, to up to seven or eight dollars a chick, depending on what you're, depending on what you're getting, and uh, that is pretty expensive. It adds up quick. Another thing is you're likely going to have to pay shipping costs on top of your chicken order. Now the shipping cost, most of the time, is pretty expensive. There are a few hatcheries out there starting to offer free shipping. Uh, you keep an eye out on, on that, and that definitely makes it a lot more economical to buying chickens that way. The main negative thing ordering chickens directly from the hatchery is there's always been a little bit of controversy on how ethical it is to have chicks born, thrown in a box, shipped across the country, and come up and arrive on your doorstep. There's a lot of things have to work right for that to work perfectly. Once the chick leaves the hatchery, now, people that have nothing to do with chickens are totally in control of your chick order. So, most of the time, they arrive alright on time and everybody is okay, but there are definitely losses that take place when ordering chickens through the mail. Um, ask yourself, do you trust the United States Postal Service to get your package here on time? If that answer is yes, then 
If that answer is no, a late package through the U.S. Postal Service is the matter of life and death when it comes to ordering chickens. Good. So I opened the box and it did not look good. Here they are. Now most hatcheries will either refund or replace your order if there is any losses that occur. Um, that is nice, but it's still the ethical part of whether or not you want to take that risk or not. Also when your little chicks are traveling through the postal service, the uh, you have no control on whether those chickens are sitting on the back of a truck if it's cold out, out in the cold. You have no control if that the chicks are sitting on a truck in the blazing heat. It could be 120 degrees on that truck and maybe your chicks won't make it. I don't know. So that is something to think about. There's a lot of variables to consider when ordering chicks through the mail. Alright, the next way and probably the most common way of getting your chickens, especially your first chickens, is directly from your local farm store. What are the pros of buying the chicken directly from the farm store? Pro number one is you have a live chick in your hands before you even buy it. And that is probably the number one thing that is, that is probably the number one pro. Because you know that chicken already survived the transit right in front of you and you have the live chicken right there. So that is nice. The next pro, buying directly from the farm store, is that they often are pretty cheap. And here's why. The farm stores order directly from the hatchery, so they are acting as a middleman between the hatchery and you. Now, in most scenarios, that makes things more expensive. In this case, the farm store is willing to take a loss on the chicken, so they will mark those chicks down. They will sell them to where they lose money on the purchase of those chicks. And the reason being is they're hoping that you buy these chickens and then you also buy their feed, you buy their waters, you buy their feeders, you buy um, egg cartons, you're buying all your chicken supplies, your fencing, your coop material, your bedding, all that stuff. They're hoping you buy that there and that's where they make their pro profit. They're not making a profit off of the chicken. So a lot of times you get really good deals. I just bought broiler chickens at my local farm store for one dollar a piece. They're the exact same chicken as you would get from the hatchery because that is where they get them from. They come through the mail and to your local farm store and then to you. So if you're worried about the ethical reasons of chicks going through the mail, that doesn't help because those chicks also went through the mail. But you know they survived. That is definitely a pro. Another thing is the chicks that you get at your local farm store, they're local. So you when you, you go get your chicks on your time. So you don't have to wait on a post office calling and you have to make time to go pick them up. You don't have to uh, worry about anything going on in the mail. When you're ready for the chick, you go, you buy it, you pick it up. Now what are the cons of buying at the local farm store? Con number one is you're going to have a limited selection. Usually they have between five and eight different breeds there, I would say. And you're not going to have the wide ranging list of things that of, of different chickens that you can choose from because what they got is what they got and that is your only choice. However, if you are in this just to get some eggs, you're not really worried about breeds. They're going to have your common breeds such as your Rhode Island Reds, your Buff Orpingtons, your Barred Rocks. You're going to get, um, and they've even gotten a little better over the last few years. They're having, you know, you'll get Easter Eggers, you get Gold Lace Wine Dots, you can get some of the prettier, less common breeds that are actually becoming more common because they're making them more available at these farm stores. So. My point is you're just you're limited to what they have. You, what they have is what they have. So that is what you have to choose from. Another thing I have found at the farm store is I don't know how hard it is to put a label on a brooder, but they have a terrible time of doing it. They get these chickens in the mail and they cannot for some reason manage to put a proper label with a price on to know exactly what you're looking at. That being said, the next con are the employees. And I'm not ragging on employees of these local farm stores. However, a lot of them know nothing about chickens, or very little. So if you see a bin 
of unlabeled chicks that you say, what are these? They likely have no idea. And also they tend to uh, mix the chickens. So, for instance, when a, when a brooder gets low, they have two brooders low, instead of keeping them separate, they'll combine them. So they may mix your uh, Cornish cross with white leghorns. And they look very, very similar as a chick, but they are completely different. One is a meat machine and one is an egg machine. And that happens. That actually happened to us on our very first order of chicks. We thought we were getting three Rhode Island Reds. We got two Rhode Island Reds and a Freedom Ranger, which is a meat chicken. And at that point, we did not know if we wanted to get into meat chickens. That is also something to consider before purchasing at your local farm store. And maybe some are better than others. Now the next, this is the way I've been kind of doing and here lately. You can actually order hatching eggs from eBay. And that is what I like to do. What are the pros of ordering eggs off of eBay? Pro number one is you have an unlimited supply of options to choose from. There are chickens on eBay that you can get that you'll never see on a hatchery website. Uh, at least the mega, the mega hatcheries. Uh, there are really rare different, there are very rare chickens, there are common chickens, there are mixed breed chickens, uh, different hybrid chickens. You have tons to choose from off of eBay. And uh, that is a very cool thing about doing that because I personally like the variety. I like having something rare and I like having the options of finding something that my neighbor wouldn't have, for instance, like something that's unique, something that's a conversation starter. Even if it isn't a mega egg layer, I just like having the variety and the cool different chickens. The next pro, by ordering from eBay, it is super ethical because there is no live chicken being shipped through the mail. It is, if an egg, get, if an egg gets broke in the mail, it is just as catastrophic as cracking an egg into your frying pan. No chicken really died in transit. And if the mail were to get delayed a day, then that really doesn't matter because the eggs will make it for a good week probably. And that is a definite pro is you don't have to worry about live chicks traveling through the mail. You just have a carton of eggs coming and if it's a day late, two days late, they're still going to be okay. Another thing is you don't have to go pick them up. They're delivered right to your front door. The mailman will set them there and uh, you know, when you get home from work, there they are. And that is also a pro. You don't have to rearrange your scheduling around to make sure you get the chickens picked up. Um, and, you know, that part's nice. Now, what are the cons of ordering from eBay? Con number one is you're going to be delayed in getting your first chickens because it's, it's going to take 21 days from the time you get your eggs to the time you actually get a chick in your hands because you're going to have to incubate them. So that goes to con number two. You need an incubator, and I recommend getting a high-quality incubator. Don't go cheap on this, because you will regret it. Uh, I use a Brincy, and it's an excellent incubator. I'll put a link in the comments below. Uh, no affiliation with them. Just they, they hatch chicks very, very well. Bite the bullet. Get a quality one. You won't regret it. Another con is you're relying on the seller to be sending you what they say they sent. So finding a reliable seller is a must. And I will show you the seller that I like to buy from here in a few minutes. Um, the next thing is in the mail, you could have broken eggs because you can't control, the seller can't control if the postal worker were to drop the box, kick the box, smash the box. I don't know. The biggest downfall ordering from eBay is you're going to have a 50-50 chance approximately of having pullets or cockerels. So that is the biggest downside because you're going to have to eliminate some of them roosters down the road. And uh, that is the worst part because you're not guaranteed on the sex of the chick at all. So you're about a 50-50 shot. Alright, so there are the three most common ways that I could think of of getting your chicks. Now, what is the best one? That's going to depend on you. If you don't care about the variety of chickens, you just want eggs. That's all you want. I just want some eggs. I don't care what it comes from. Go to your local farm store. They're going to have your egg layers. Just you know, pick out your half dozen to a dozen chicks. They will do just fine. 
Now maybe you've done your research, maybe you've really looked into this and say, I want this specific breed, I want two of these, I want three of those, I want five of these, I want this, and you have a very specific list of chickens that you want. And then you may want to go on to the hatcheries website and select exactly what you want, males, the females, everything. Now let's say you're really into this and you're into more of the unique and rare and really cool different breeds that uh, you just want to have just because you think it's cool and that's what you want. Or you maybe you want to go in there and you want to breed a specific line of chickens and you want to sell their hatching eggs and you need quality stock because most likely you're going to get more a higher quality stock by going off of eBay. If you watched my last video, the uh, I mentioned that I just got an order in the mail. So I'm going to show you what to expect when you order eggs off of eBay and I'm going to show you that right now. Alright, bear with me, I just broke my tripod, but you will get your package in the mail. It says live eggs, live embryo hatching eggs, handle with care, fragile, this side up. A lot of times they'll say no x-ray and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, I already peeked in here. I'm going to show you where I get my eggs from. So here's where I like to get it. So here is, here is the business card of the place I like to get my eggs. So go ahead and screenshot that if you're interested. And uh, that is where I like And here are the different varieties that they offer. Go ahead and screenshot that if you would like. I highly recommend them. They have quality stock. About probably 40% of my chickens came from there. And uh, I can't recommend them anymore. I've had, I don't think I've ever lost an egg in the mail. I mean, not that that's 100% in their control, but they package them well. And uh, I'm telling you, I like them. So anyway, here is my newest batch here. So you see, it just sits on your doorstep. You go out, pick it up. carton of eggs. This was all taped up. I just opened it up already. And then here are the marked eggs. Look how colorful those are. Isn't that neat? So these are marked. I like to order the potluck from these people. Um, they, uh, they do a really good job. I believe they are located in Idaho. So these eggs have traveled from Idaho all the way across the country to uh, East Central Ohio. And um, they all made it. So that is not a problem. Now what did I get here? In the potluck, basically, they go through their stock, I believe, and they select at their discretion what you get. And they do entertain a wish list. And I did send out a wish list, and for the most part, I got what I asked for. So what are these eggs? A, C, and a slash. These eggs here are I am Chimani's. These super dark eggs right here. These are black copper Morans. S, L. These are silver laced Orpingtons. BR, BR, I'm going to butcher this name, are the quail brabacone, brabacon, brabacon, something like that. W, these are the blue laced red wine dots. And M, these are really cool, I'm excited about. Look at that green and blue. These are mosaics. Alright, I got you guys handheld now because, like I said, I broke my tripod. Uh, but anyway, you can see those eggs there. Uh, you are not going to get most of those chickens off these major hatchery websites. Uh, I would say... You probably get the Copper Moran, you probably get the Blue Lace Wine Dots. But after that... I don't know. 
these are definitely unique and I'm telling you the, the lineage and the quality I believe are better on these eggs so that is where I get my eggs uh, I just thought this video may be helpful for you guys out there and uh, you know because especially if you're new to this you don't really know exactly where the best place to go is and hopefully you learn something from this but uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and like I said earlier, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.